Hey everyone, welcome back to Fox Tech, and in this video we're tackling a common issue. How do you stop your AirPods from connecting to other phones? This can be a little frustrating, especially if you share your AirPods with friends or family members, or if you, even if you have multiple iPhones connected to the same Apple ID. So let's dive into the solutions to help you keep your AirPods connected to the right device. First, let's address why this happens. If you share your AirPods with different iPhones or have multiple iPhones linked to the same Apple ID, your AirPods might automatically connect to any of those devices first. This automatic switching can be convenient, but it can also be annoying when your AirPods connect to a device you don't want them to. To prevent this from happening, you should avoid sharing your AirPods with others or connecting them with other people's iPhones. If you have already done this, there are steps you can take to manage which devices your AirPods connect to. Start by opening your iPhone settings and navigating to the Bluetooth section. Ensure that your AirPods are connected, then find out your AirPods in the list of devices. Tap the I icon next to your AirPods to access their settings. Here you will find an option that says connect to this iPhone. You can choose between two settings, automatically and when last connected to this iPhone. Selecting when last connected means your AirPods will only connect to the device they were last used with. This setting prevents your AirPods from connecting to any other iPhones, including those of your family members or friends. It's a simple but effective way to ensure your AirPods stay connected to the device you prefer. Another useful option in the settings page is forget this device. If you've already shared your AirPods with a friend or someone else, and they frequently connect to their iPhone, you can ask them to go into their Bluetooth settings and select forget this device for your AirPods. This will remove your AirPods from their device's memory, ensuring they no longer automatically connect. So by managing these settings, you can significantly reduce the ch chances of your AirPods connecting to the wrong device. It's a nice process, uh, that will save you some hassle and keep your AirPods functioning the way that you want. So that's going to be a wrap up for today. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the future.